chapter chapter 19 Donovan and, and Josie hey guys we're back reading the 10 year game plan this author upload uh, another part of, of this book I thought it was going to be the final but it's not I hope this is the final chapter 19 Donovan and Josie do you want to sleep over the words were out of her mouth in a slur jumble and I couldn't help but chuckle a little I hadn't heard a glass of water she left on her beside Rather, she left on her bedside table. She reached for it, bumping my hand a little. Don't laugh, she pout. I'm serious. Come on, Joey. You're not you right now. Sip your love and then tell me if you'd be pro positioning me. I will, she objected, and I rubbed my eyes. She obviously didn't mean it, but that didn't mean it was fun to think about. Just sleep here. It's late, and I won't snore. Promise. We'll just sleep. I smile, not believing her for a second about this about this snoring. I sleep on a couch. It was it was a comfortable couch. Admittedly, a little small, but I didn't didn't want to miss my. Didn't want to miss the chance of seeing hungover. Josie, we're getting all of her life choices. Maybe I come in her room tomorrow morning and start getting panic at the disco songs. <laughs> Maybe she remembered this tomorrow, but I'll be right outside the door if you need me. Still not good enough for her. Why won't you sleep in? The bed with me. I was like feeling a, a little bit odd as I tucked her in and turned toward the door. Was there a word of was there a word for doing the exact opposite of what your desires were telling you? I don't think I, I didn't think so. And maybe that's because people don't usually do it, so they can avoid feeling like this. Joe, I began. I'm serious. She whined. I, I could see her cute little pout through the dark. Tell me the real reason why. Because the next time I lay down in bed with you, Josie, I want you to remember every second of it. And I don't want to be sleeping. Josie's point of view. I woke up the next morning with a bit of a headache and the driest mouth in the history of dry mouths. By the time I stumbled out of bed, the sun was beating through my window, laughing at me. Stupid sun. I hated the sun. The only reason I emerged from my bedroom was to seek sustenance. The pop tart crumb I ate off my bed. Side tail was not enough to keep me alive, especially not today. Both Cam and Gazelle were waiting for me in our living room. They watched the they watched me slouch through the kitchen to pour myself the biggest possible cup of coffee. Sweeping decoration I said, I'm not drinking again. Cam snored. Yeah, right. It, it was chill. I meant it was every fiber of my being. At least I did at the moment. I can't believe the quarterback slept on the couch again, he said. My breath furrowed as I joined them on the couch, wrapping a blanket around my shoulder. What are you talking about? They both stared at me. Donovan slept out on the couch last night, Cam said slowly. He left early this morning after call they're getting a call. Cam was one of those strange people that actually like mornings, even if she'd been drinking the night before. I don't know. Some people are just crazy, I guess. I don't remember him being here. I don't remember falling asleep on, on him outside the door because you forgot your key. I did what? You're kidding, right? Cam grinned. Fortunately, no. I shook her. I shot her a, a, a look. Why the hell does she look so giddy? 
Didn't she know that there were jackhammers in my school? And then you, and then you asked him to sleep over. Oh, that I vaguely remember. Clearly, he and Sir had been not seen at, as he chose to sleep on a couch that was far too small for him. Rather than rather than with me, at least that gave me my answer to do. At least that gave my that gave me the answer to a lot of other things too. I grunted in response, busy myself making my coffee and trying to reorient myself with all of the things I needed to get done. Still. There was a thought nagging at the back of her brain. His head was inspecting my face clearly, searching for something in my expression. Whatever it was, I thought there was anything among my face. But exhaustion. Don't get distracted, she said. Huh? Black eyes roll and long black lashes blink slowly at me, as though she were talking to a child. What? Talking to a child, which... At the speed my brain was working, maybe she was. You, you have goals, and I haven't listened to you drone on about them for four years, just so you can toss them out the window now. I recoiled. I'm not fine. She struck. It was just a reminder. Her words. Had their intended effect on me. The rest of the day, I spent most of my time writing the first draft of paper due in a in a few weeks, which I hit a wall on that I switched over to L set study. I was registered to take the exam in a few months, and it was difficult to study for it on top of my other schoolwork. Her brain only had about four hours worth of use and once those were up my energy what little of it I, I had from Gazelle's warning fizzled out. Checking my lock screen once again. No link. I decided to do something active. Shocking, I know. There were still sound with See dual effects of the hangover lingering in both my brain and my stomach. But physically, but physical activity was supposed to help with those. So I actually walked into the student gym and saw who was in there. It was only 8 p.m. He was supposed to work out much later in, during the night. The part of the night where I where I was usually already asleep. Why was he using the student gym? The football players had their own gym. The football players had their own. But it all made sense when I saw a flash of red hair stand around the bench press and move to the side. Of course, Sabrina Fresco would look like a model after just been pressing 100 something pounds. Every time I spoke to her, she was nothing but nice. She was 22, and not in a way that she had to be mean to be funny. I like her. Yet, at that moment, I ducked behind a column so that she couldn't see me, you know, like a child would. My heart was pounding, and I leaned my head back against the column wall. I was... Being childish, obviously nothing happened between Donovan and I last night. Maybe there was still alcohol in my system causing me to act e irrationally. If there was still alcohol in my system, it was probably better if I went home and sleep it off, right? That made me. That made sense. If I just peek around the corner, Josie, Sabrina said with a bright smile. Walking right up to my column, I thought I saw you come in. Oh shit! Um, hi Sabrina. Yes, I am. 
I was cut off by Donovan's approach and finished with an awkward here. To my surprise, he didn't try to say anything. In fact, he barely made eye contact with me. But greeting, he gave me a half hazard nod and quickly glanced away looking at all of the equipment and crossing his arms, his bare arms, his bare sturdy arms. I needed to leave. Right, well, you should come work out with us, Sabrina so interjecting. I really don't think. I began to say as Donovan was finishing, she doesn't want to do that. Sabrina so ignored the two of us and our objections instead grabbing my hand and leading me over to the to the corner of the gym. We were just about to start squatting. Oh God, he is now. Sure, okay. Uh, one day I promised myself I would get my mouth to work in tandem with my brain. One day, but not today, apparently. Looking at Sabrina in her sports bra and leggings, I could understand why Donovan was interested in spotting her while she left it. She while she left it. She offered for me to go first, but I assured that I needed to stretch first. Hopefully stretching what Marcusy teach me how to squat. The only thing I ever did was carrying the team on group projects. That was such a lame thought to cross my mind that when it did, I want did to let the barbell crush me. You should stretch the bottom half of your body fish. My head snapped up at the instruction. Donovan was watching me as he stood in a spinning position behind Sabrina. Immediately, I switched from my arm stretches to what she said. That was a good point, I guess. Made sense. At least he was speaking to me, instructing me, meant no awkward chit chat about the fact that I asked him to sleep over last night or that we spent the evening talking on my porch or that nope, no reason to talk about it. So when I got through her first set, naturally and fancy, I should have watched how she did it because as soon as it was my turn, I knew next to nothing about what I was supposed to do. You left it for? Devin asked his hands on the middle bar and pushing it back against it. I shook my head. Do you know how to do it? I point at the, the barbell. I know that the heavy Thing goes on my back and then I go down. The reading chuckle now made see us in her death or her expression when she looked at me. Yes, good points. Just make sure to come back up too. That's the harder part. The two of them showed me the proper position in a mirror without the bar. We did a few of those as a warm up, and then they emptied the weight of the bar from Sabrina's head. What does that weigh? I pointed at the bar along with no weight, like 10 pounds. Yep, something like that. Yep, something like that, Donovan interjected before Sabrina could answer. He readied, her, he readied himself behind the Racked and motioned for me to get into position in front of him, swelling past the thickness in my throat. I dug under the bar, resting it on my shoulder, but not lifting it yet. Every call of my body could feel his closeness behind me, each one awake with a strange type of energy. Sabrina was doing some small workout in, in between. Her sense and I was grateful that nobody was looking at my face. At least after I left it a few times, I would have an excuse for why my face was so red. I didn't have the, 
that excuse now. My knees were wobbly and going down on the squat, and my back felt strange. It was easy enough doing a, doing a squat with whatever he, he said, 10 pounds. Still, I could tell my form was off. Keep your core tight, Donovan Swiss brushed my ear, one large hand sailing around my waist and pressing flat against my belly. He pushed on it slightly, f- forcing my back into a straighter rear position. Keep your chin high. I did as he instructed, trying to implement everything they both sh- showed me. The second one was much better, but still a little wobbly, though I wasn't sure that had anything to do with form. Not when his arms lingered on either side of my body, close enough that they brushed the sides of my tank top. The gym was sad. Down again, he instructed. His voice slightly strained. Sabrina looked up from where she was doing a lunge and giggle. At first, I thought she was laughing at how bad I was crying, but she was looking behind me at whatever she could see on Donovan's face. He's probably looking pain, having to go so slowly through this process with me. As we progress, we will not keep adding weight to her. And after my first set, Donovan started adding weight to mine. My legs were starting to feel like jello, but I also was too stubborn to tell them I wanted to stop. How much is that? I asked, watching him put another plate on on 30. He said, resuming his position. From, he said, resuming his position behind me. I shrugged and struggled through the set but feeling like I needed to finish because 30 sounded the too though to be this hard. Sabrina went and it and it was my turn again. The set was the hardest and and definitely my worst. He had to help me on the last one and effortlessly lifted the bar off my shoulder and on to the rack. I turned Breathless and sweating, hoping that I at least did better than 30 pounds. So I asked, how how I do? 50 pounds? He shook his head. What, 40? 112. What? I sputtered, but, but you said that he struggled pushing dark hair back with his hand. Yeah, I like fish. The bar weighs 45 pounds by itself. You're always capable of more than you think you, you can handle. I hit him in the chest, but it was a limp pinch. My muscles were jello. Sabrina laughed, shaking her head and starting to take the weights off. A small bubble of pride was making its way into my belly, and I was fighting against a smile that was threatening to make its way onto my face. I could have gotten hurt, I, I, I admonish. I will never let that happen. Thanks for reading. This, this is one of my faith. So far, I don't know why, but I, I like it. Let me know what you think. Stay safe and be kind, my friends. Thank you guys for reading this final part. See you guys in the next video.